Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. For all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea or lovelytea.net. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for the video. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole situation in depth um, with Emily and Fabulous. So if you guys do not know, it's been rumored and the rumor has been confirmed. They got married recently. People are not sure if it was last weekend or the weekend before, um, but this is what's being reported. They're saying that apparently Emily B. and Fabulous got married at Bergen County in the courthouse. They had a very private ceremony with friends and family. And also when Fabulous went on to the BET Hip Hop Awards, where we were nominated for Best Website, he apparently told some people that he was married. So it was around the time of when they did the BET Hip Hop Awards, which was about maybe two weeks ago, is when him and Emily B got married. So of course this is causing a lot of controversy. And in my personal opinion, I feel like this, at the end of the day, you know, Emily B, like I've always said, the woman has very, very low self-esteem, especially when it comes to fabulous. Um, I don't feel like this marriage was built on anything genuine. This was a marriage built on convenience because let's not forget um, a few months back, they went viral because a video was posted online where Fabulous was threatening her and walking up on the father, threatening to kill her, the father, the brother, and everything else. And, um, you know, they were separated for a bit. Then you quietly saw them get back together. And I think now, because he's facing serious felony charges, so at this point in time, he's scrambling to do anything to get himself off the hook, okay? Because if he really loved and cared for this woman, he would have married her eons ago. This is the same woman that nobody even knew existed until she was on Love & Hip Hop New York, okay? So if he really, really, so if he really cared about her and really wanted to marry her, he would have been did it. He wouldn't have waited until he was going to court to look at criminal charges before marrying her. Because now that they're husband and wife, she legally cannot testify against her husband. So I believe that he did that because of that reason. Now her father is going to testify on um, his behalf and basically, you know, I guess dumb down the situation to act like it wasn't that big a deal and everything else. So they're definitely fighting to keep him out of prison. And to be honest with you, the way these celebrities get all types of perks and, you know, preferential treatment, I don't see him getting locked up. You know, if anything, he might get probation. You know, if he's lucky, they'll throw the case out. But does that negate the fact that he whooped her ass and we all heard him on camera, you know what I'm saying, cussing her out, going off on her, threatening her, threatening the father, and her standing there looking like a scared little puppy? No, it doesn't negate that. But again, if Emily B likes it, she likes getting her teeth knocked out. She likes being treated like a doll, put on the shelf, and being taken down when he feels like taking her down. At the end of the day, if she likes it, there's nothing we can do about that. There's nothing I can say. There's nothing you can say. Emily B is grown. She's going to make her own decision. The only thing we can do is just sit back and watch all this fuckery unfold. At the end of the day, people are going to do what they want to do. But it's really sad that this is the example that she's basically showing her daughter. She's basically showing her, her young, impressionable daughter that somebody can whoop your ass, knock out your teeth, threaten your family, treat you like shit. And as long as they, you know, say sorry and then finally marry you, it's all good. You know, they can still co-parent. He can still be a parent to his sons that he has with her. She can still be a mother. But why sit there and condone his physical abuse? Why sit there and condone his physical violence? At the end of the day, it's not her fault that he acted out. He chose to do that even if the father stole money or she stole money and gave it to the father. That was one of the rumors. At the end of the day, like I always say, you only control yourself. So he allowed himself and his emotions to just go crazy, to get out of hand. So that was on Fabulous and he has to take personal responsibility for what he did to her. But the fact that she's sitting here going along with it and now that they're married so that way she can't testify against him, it just says a lot about her. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Fabulous and Emily B quietly getting married a few weeks ago to basically head off this court case. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.